Hi guys, it's Sherry and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be using this Rossi Glam Box Dip Powder Kit for my Manny. I picked this kit up off the Rossi website and it's a kind of a mellow kit, um, some pale pinks and some grays and here's some swatches. It's funny because I actually recorded myself opening the box and swatching these colors and I realized later that I was not recording. So I just took a picture of the swatches and I included that there. Okay, so let's get started. So the two colors I chose to use today are Bell, which is a light pink color and Serenade which is a pale gray color. Um, I thought these two colors would be pretty together so I am going to use the Serenade on my index and my pinky finger and I'm going to put the bell on my middle finger and my ring finger. Um, I've actually already prepped my nails prior to getting started. Um, I used tips and I already went in and dipped um, a couple of dips with natural just to build my apex and reinforce the strength of the tip. So I'm dipping in here to the Serenade first. This is my first dip and I like to go ahead and um, dip a couple times and clean off around the cuticle, which I, I see now that I'm out of frame, and I'm sorry. Still working on that, guys, still working on that, and I swear to you, it is going to get better. So I'm gonna go in here with my second dip on this index finger, and I am really out of frame. This is, that's okay, that's okay. It's all right, We're, it's, it's getting better, it's getting better. You will notice that I did not do my thumbnail and that is because I stupidly injured my thumbnail. Um, I was doing some e-filing on that hand and I was not paying attention to what I was doing probably because one of my kids was talking to me or something and I like sliced right into the nail like close to the cuticle and it doesn't feel good so I just don't want to put anything on that right now. So we are going to pretend like the thumb does not exist for this video, okay? We don't see a thumb. So here I am going in now with this very pretty pink color and um, like I said before I'm going to put this color on my middle finger and my index finger. Um, the I forgot to mention the dip liquid that I'm using. I'm using the Virgo and Gem base coat and activator as well. Um, I actually received um, with the mini kit that Rossi sent me, I received um, a sample of their dip liquids and I, I, I like the Virgo and Gym better. So I'm going to use this today. That's what I'm using. And we do a couple of dips on each finger. So, and today I'm doing just like a straightforward dip. Um, on my last video, I was trying to be just a little extra and a little fancy and do some things but uh, i thought about it i'm like you know i don't know why you had to go for something difficult on your very first youtube video but whatever that video is done it's been posted we've moved on I'm going to 
jump back in right here and just kind of chat while you guys watch me do these last two nails in this pink color. Um, I just wanted to talk about uh, why I decided to start doing my own nails and why I decided to uh, join YouTube and start a channel. Um, it's funny because I actually like always have gotten my nails done like forever since I was in high school. Well, when I was in high school, it was probably on and off because I just did not have the money to go and get my nails done and keep it regular. But, you know, pretty much uh, since I've been working kind of after that, I've just kept my nails done. And when I was in Georgia, I actually had the same nail guy for like 20 years. And yes, that is a long time. John was my nail guy. And that is the longest relationship I have ever had with a man, was my nail tech, John. <laughs> and I miss him so much. But now that my family and I um, have moved to Maryland, he's not here. So um, I've tried a few different nail salons here, at, at least three and I was just not happy with the results. I mean, I do not know what the heck they were doing, but they just, they, my nails never really looked that great to me. And especially for the money, cause like you're paying so much money and they, you basically go in and they just, you know, dip one color. And if you want an ombre or a design or anything else, I mean, you're looking at 70, 80, 90 bucks and uh, no. So right around January is when I was just like fed up and I'm like, all right, I have to figure out something new. And I did not, it never crossed my mind that I could do my own dip nails, never thought about it. And I actually first started off uh, with some press on nails. And because first of all, press on nails are not like they were when I was a little kid growing up. Um, we had like Lee press on nails and I doubt anybody even remembers that because it was so long ago. <laughs> but the new press on nails now that they have, they are really cute. So I was doing that and, but of course those suckers pop off. And I was like, yeah, okay, I'm not really happy with that. And I just, one day I was in CVS looking for more press on nails and I saw a dip kit and I'm thinking, can I do this? So what do I do? I go to YouTube. <laughs> um, right here, I'm going to go ahead and clear cap all of my nails um, in this iGel Beauty Clear. This is a really good clear dip. Um, but yeah, so I, looked at some videos on YouTube and I was like, let me get started with this thing. And I will tell you the first dip I did using that Kiss dip powder from CVS, it was awful. It was awful, awful, awful. And I wanted to quit, but I didn't. And I'm glad that I didn't because I have improved so much from January until now is crazy. And you're probably thinking, well, you know what? You just started in January. Why are you, are you having a YouTube channel? because you know what as i was exploring more channels and looking at different things there are a lot of channels with girls that are so good and they're doing all these beautiful professional nails but there are not many people that are new like myself and so sometimes when you're like looking at people and they're just they make it look so easy because they've been doing it for so long you don't see the goofs and the hiccups and the mess ups and you um, may not, you know, they may not think of something that a person could mess up on because it's been probably a while for them that they've been messing up because they've been doing it for so long. So I was like, you know what? Maybe if I have a channel as a beginner and people can watch me and see my hiccups and my mistakes, then maybe someone could learn from it and do better. So that's, that's the goal, that's the hope, and I really hope that you guys will be here for it. So I appreciate everyone that has watched me so far, and I hope you guys keep watching and keep coming back and send your friends.
tell everybody, anybody that wants to get into doing their own nails, if they just want to come and, you know, just give me a watch. And even if someone has been doing it a long time, hey, can you come on over here and watch too? You can give me some tips. So I would definitely appreciate that, definitely. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and activate these nails again using the Virgo and Gem activator. Get them all nice and hard and ready for filing. I go back over them uh, two times with the activator um, because you really want these nails to get you know good and hard and set. Uh, before you start filing because you don't want any large chunks and chips to come flying off which still happens to me anyway <laughs> even though I go over like twice but you know I, I probably need to have a lighter hand with my e-file sometimes I can get a little carried away because when I'm e-filing I am in a zone it's actually really soothing it's kind of fun and that's probably what happens but I'm learning and I'm trying not to do that, but every blue moon, a good chunk comes off. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and I'm doing some hand filing here before I break out my old trusty e-file. And I, again, I like to try to get my shape in really good with the hand file. Uh, before I start my e-file but I also like to go back in after I e-file and do some more shaping and as I'm looking at this back I am just sitting here watching myself wondering why the heck I did not have my um, little duster thingy on up under me because look at this mess it's like snow falling <laughs> it looks like dandruff <laughs> This is my e-file that I use. I got this off Amazon. It's uh, Subay, S-U-B-A-Y. And I think it was like 30 bucks. It was not expensive at all. And I find it to be really, really good. I have not had any issues with it since I've had it. I've had it since maybe around February, I think is when I bought this. Um, I went through a couple of other e-files prior to getting this one, but since I've had this one, I've been really, really happy with it. Um, it does everything that I guess the fancy ones do. I don't know. It, it's got the, you know, the bi-direction and it, you can change the, um, the speed of it. So it works for me. Uh, I don't think the speed thingy, it doesn't tell you like a number of the speed. You just have to kind of feel for it. And I keep it on pretty low. Um, this drill bit that I'm using is actually really good. It came with the e-file and it's really good. It's, it's like a safety bit, so it's kind of hard to cut yourself. But I had to go and try and be all fancy and order some extra drill bits, which I do love, by the way, but they're so sharp. You have got to be really careful. And uh, that was one of the ones I was using when I sliced my thumb. So I have to be a little bit more careful with those. Um, but I still use it. I'm not afraid of it or anything. I just have to make sure I'm paying attention and, you know, not let my kids distract me or anything else distract me when I'm using those because, yeah, they're, they're pretty sharp. All right, I'm going to stop talking here just for a bit and let you watch me do some e-filing and I'll be back in a minute.
Alrighty, so I kind of cut off my e-filing, um, mostly because I was just watching it back and I am just like so out of frame and it was really irritating me. So I'm going to go ahead and cl clean my nails off using this Gelish Nail Surface Cleanser. And now it's time for some fun. We're going to break out some butterflies. I had these holographic butterflies. I ordered them off of Amazon and they are so pretty. There's gold and silver and metallic. So I decided to go for these silver uh, butterflies. And also I'm going to use this holographic glitter as well. And aren't those little scissors cute? I got them off Amazon as well. They're like $11, but they're so cute, little cuticle scissors. And I thought I was going to, to use them uh, to have to cut out like the butterflies, but I'm like, uh, duh, Cher, you don't need those because these are stickers. All you have to do is pull them off. So um, I decided which uh, butterfly I was going to use and I put that away. And I actually ended up using this McCart Nail Art Foil Glue to stick these on. It, it wasn't necessary for the butterflies because they're stickers, you can just kind of put them on, but I needed it for the glitter. Um, but I just went ahead and used it anyway just because I like it and it does just give an extra adhesive to what you're putting on your nails. So I'm going to put this McCart Nail Art Foil Glue on all five nails, four, four nails. I forgot, we don't have a thumb today. Four nails and I'm going to let that cure in the lamp for 45 seconds because that is the time that my Jellish lamp goes for. <laughs> so I'm going to put this in. Put this on, let it cure, and then we're gonna get to some funners with the glitter. Alrighty, my glue is cured and I am going to add some of this very pretty holographic glitter onto the gray nails. So the pinky nail and the index finger will have glitter and I just kind of like just spread it all over uh, these two nails and uh, actually I put a little bit on the pink nails as well after I put my butterflies on just to, I don't know, I just wanted it to be extra sparkly because I like sparkles and glitters and all the things that shine.
And now time for my pretty butterflies. They're so pretty. Uh, these little peel off stickers, they are so fantastic because they're easy. You literally just peel them off. And I am not in frame, I'm sorry. But I put, it's like a, um, well you'll see, but it's a, it's a butterfly. I put like one half on the middle finger and the other half goes on the ring finger and you hold them together and they make a butterfly and it's so pretty. I just love those looks. I've seen it so many times and I actually have done it before, uh, but I really enjoyed that look. <laughs> and then this happened. Glitter everywhere. So after I cleaned up my glitter, I put a little bit more on the finger with uh, the butterflies as well, just kind of around the butterflies. And I don't, I don't know why I didn't do both butterflies at the same time and then glitter, but whatever. Maybe that's why I spilled it everywhere. I should have done it like in a particular order. That would have helped. Yeah, probably. Alrighty, so now we are going to add some top coat because this look is pretty much done. Um, the top coat again that I'm using is the Model 1's top coat. It is very shiny, it is very pretty. And I'm going to give it a couple of coats and a cure. And that is going to be the look for today. So once again guys, I really appreciate everyone uh, for coming and watching my video and I hope that you are subscribed. If you are not, please subscribe, please like the video, and if you want, throw a comment below. Tell me if you guys have made a mess when you're doing your nails because I'm sure that's not going to be the last time that I'm going to spill glitter all over the place. And even though it's been a couple of days now since I have filmed this, there is still glitter everywhere, everywhere. But that's it guys, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for walking, wa walking, <laughs> for watching. And I hope to see you guys back for my next video. Um, I haven't decided yet what days are going to be my regular days that I'm going to drop videos. Uh, right now, I'm just gonna see how it goes. I'm, my goal is to try to um, put up a video a couple times a week. Uh, we'll see how that goes though with my kids being uh, in virtual school and me being a mommy and doing all that stuff. So that's the plan, so we'll see how that goes. I hope you guys all have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.